Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung refrigerator fan blade spring. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new fan blade spring. The fan blade spring is mounted on the condenser fan blade. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged and the fan is loose and making noise. In order to get to the part, we have to go around to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're around back, we can take the access cover off. We're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to remove all the screws. Now that we have all the screws out, we can lift it off the mounting tabs. All you have to do is lift it up and pull it off and set it aside. Now that we have the cover off, we can reach in and pull the condenser fan blade off. Just going to have to reach in and grab it and pull it off the motor. Once you have it out, you can pull it out of the refrigerator. Now that we have the condenser fan blade out of the refrigerator, we can take off the fan blade spring. We're just going to use our needle nose and carefully reach down and pull it off. Once you have it off, you can separate the two pieces. Here's the old fan blade spring next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new fan blade spring onto the fan, we're just going to use our needle nose pliers and set it onto the hub and push it down. You want to be careful and support the fan from underneath so you don't damage the fan blades. And you just want to push it down so that the top of the spring is even with the top of the hub. Once you have it down and even, we can put it back into the refrigerator. To put the condenser fan blade back in, we're just going to carefully push it back in. You want to make sure that the hub is towards the compressor. And then you're just going to put it back in place and line it up with the motor shaft. Once you have it in place, you want to support the motor from behind so you can push the fan blade on. Once you have it pushed down until it stops, the fan blade should spin freely. Once you're sure it spins freely, we can put the access cover back on. Anytime you have the back cover off, you want to take the opportunity to clean everything up. You want to be careful of all the copper lines and the wiring, but you want to clean the compressor off and the condenser. The better you have that cleaned up, the more efficient the refrigerator will run. Once you have it cleaned up, you can put the cover on. To put the cover on, all you have to do is line it up in place and set it down onto the mounting tabs. Once you have it in place, we can use the corner nut driver to put all the screws in. Now that we have the refrigerator put back together, we can plug it back in and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.